So you got a Tesla or you're thinking about getting a Tesla, don't forget that all Teslas require a 5,000 mile synthetic oil change and you also need to replace your spark plugs every 60,000 miles. Wait a second. That can't be right. Hold on. I'll be right back. What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips with Chris. Today's all about Tesla maintenance. How easy or how hard is it to own a Tesla? Unlike internal combustion engines, well, there is none. So there's no need for oil changes and spark plugs and timing belts, making it super easy. There are brakes and tires and an AC unit in the car, so those things need to be serviced. And if all goes well and you don't randomly get a dead battery pack like mine, you won't need to replace that for a long time. And let's hope not. Those bad boys cost like $10,000 at a minimum. So if you are considering a used Tesla, make sure you check the battery warranty before you buy it. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Moving on, let's talk about the easy stuff first. First off, tire rotation. This should be done every 5,000 or 6,000 miles depending on your tires. You can do it at Costco, America's Tires, even Tesla will come to your house and do the tire rotation for you for a fee. Just make sure wherever you go, they have my must have accessory, the Tesla hockey pucks. So that that way they can jack up the car safely and not damage the batteries to rotate your tires. If you still haven't gotten these yet, quit being lazy and buy it now. I'll make sure I link it in the description below. Now I really recommend you stick to this tire rotation schedule since it's an electric car and a Tesla, your tires are gonna wear out much faster. So with Tesla's because there's no maintenance schedule, they don't remind you to do things like tire rotation and stuff like that, which is why it's so important to go to your trips tab and then you could customize these two. So you could actually change the name. So I have lifetime and I have tire rotation 6,000 miles so that I know when it's about 6,000 miles, I can rotate the tires and you could easily reset it. So you see you hit reset tire rotation, reset lifetime. And that way it helps remind you, oh, it's almost 6,000 miles. I need to rotate my tires. So that's one great way and it's something really nice to think about. Next up is the cabin air filter. Now I did a video on this, so check that on how to replace it. I'm also doing a HEPA filter retrofit and it looks like there may be an easier way to replace the cabin air filters, but I'll let you guys know later. Now with the cabin air filter, they recommend replacing the air filter every two years. And if you have the HEPA air filter, which most newer Tesla Model Ys have, it filters most of the stuff, so you can usually wait three years. Now again, you'll know you have the HEPA air filter because you'll see a little bio defense button on the right side in the climate control settings. And if you live somewhere with snow and salt, Tesla recommends you clean and lubricate your brake calipers every 12,500 miles. One way to check if your brake calipers need to be replaced, you can't really check unless you like measure it at an auto shop. However, there is a sound it makes when you do apply the brakes. It makes a really loud screeching sound. That's kind of one way of letting you know that the brakes need to be replaced when you hear a really loud screeching sound whenever you press on the brakes. And they also recommend a brake fluid check every two years. However, as far as brake replacement goes, this should be rarely, if not at all done, due to the regenerative braking that uses the motors to slow down the car, making your brakes last forever. So a couple of things you wanna check is of course the washer fluid and the brake fluid, as well as the battery coolant. You just wanna check the levels, make sure it's not below the minimum level. And also you wanna make sure it's not above the max level because that means there's too much. So to do that, it's super simple. All we're gonna do is just kinda of lift up these pieces here just held in by clips, so that is out. Now with older cars, you may not have the HEPA filter installed, but I have the HEPA filter, so it kind of gets in the way of stuff. With the windshield washer fluid, it does let you know that it's low on the screen. So on top it off, you just have to open it up, and you can even do that with this on. That's why there's a hole there. With the brake fluid, it's right over here, and it's kind of in the way. You can see it here in an angle. But we're looking for it to say max and you see that max and that's kind of how you know that it's there's fluid in there here and i open it up that it's on max all at the top so when it's all at the top that's on max and that is good there is a coolant here as well however it's kind of underneath this thing 
And the only way to remove that is to remove these bolts here. You also may have to remove this front piece, so that's really difficult to do. Not something you need to worry about too much because it will tell you on the screen if the coolant is low. And lastly, they recommend the AC desiccant bag replacement every six years, and that's pretty much it. And things like the AC desiccant bag, you don't replace that. You just take it to the test the service center and they do everything for you. Oh, there is the really annoying 12 volt battery or lithium ion battery in your frunk that also needs to be replaced. And based on previous owners, it lasts anywhere from two to five years. It's nice though that they let you know that the battery is low and it needs to be replaced. You also know you have the lithium ion battery because with all the new Tesla Model Ys that come with the HEPA filter, they also switched it to the lithium ion battery as well. Other than that, it's smooth sailing. It's so weird compared to a regular engine car because it's just so much easier. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time.